So for our next scratch project, we're going to create a little script that alters a photograph. In order to do that, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly go to the web page that has all our instructions on it, and you'll see there's one called Alter a Photo, and it's called script number two. There's a download link there, and you can just right-click on it and either save link as or save target as or whatever. Um, we're going to stick with this one for now, and we'll just save it to the desktop. That's just the easiest place to find things. And once it's downloaded, then what we can do is we can click on this open uh, folder star. And when you do that, go to your desktop, you'll see the picture and you can either double click or click OK. And it comes in and it completely overlays over top of our cat. And at this point, we might as well just delete the cat because there's really no point. We'll just right click and choose delete. And then we can rename this as teacher. And now we're going to create our basic script that goes with it. And as with almost everything that we're going to do, we have a when the green flag is clicked and a forever. And now what we want to do is we want to change the way that the photograph looks. So we're going to change, go to the looks palette. And down a number of ways, there's change color effect and set color effect to zero. Well, that's what we want to do. We want to set color effect to zero and we're going to just change the color effect. However, we're not just going to say set it to zero because that's kind of boring. What we want to do is we want to go to our sensing tab and we're going to go and find mouse X and put that over top. Okay. Now, when you run the green flag, you should be able to move your mouse side to side and it should change like this. So note, which direction did you think the X value was going to go? Should it have gone side to side or should it have gone straight up and down? Interesting. So let's stop that. And we can go back and grab another one. I'm going to go back to looks and grab another set color effect to zero. Notice it says set at the beginning. And instead of color, we're going to choose, oh, I'll choose world this time. And now I'm going to go back to sensing, and instead of getting mouse X this time, I'm going to get mouse Y. And you'll notice as you hold your mouse over top of the zero, that's what highlights in a big white. That way you know that it's in the right place. You can also just click on this and drag it around, and you'll see all the pieces stay attached. If you click on the forever, of course, they start coming apart, so you've got to only click on the topmost one. And now when I click the green flag, I do various interesting things. If I go side to side, it does this. If I go up and down, it goes this. Does that make sense? Is that your understanding of X and Y? Test that out. Make sure it works right and save your work.